near Green Bay. Uh, is it okay that my baby's screaming? Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Daniel Warren Johnson, and today I'm gonna be drawing Rogue and Gambit. From the moment that I saw those initial comics when I was really young, I knew that I wanted to be an artist in some way, shape, or form. My parents, they were super supportive. They signed me up when I was six or seven for like art class where like it's paper mache and drawing. When the teacher saw my drawings, she said that he should just be going into drawing 101 with the older kids. And then after I was in there for a few weeks, one of the teachers came up to my parents and she's like, uh, he's too good for this class. You need to put him in the adult figure drawing class. It's important to bring something new to the table. I always try and break it down with a really tiny little drawing. Because I know if the shapes are there and they look pleasing to the eye, almost like abstract art, it will work when it's blown up. In my opinion, I, I think composition especially is quite universal. Like Akira Kurosawa, I do this a lot where I'll put his movies on and I'll just pause at random times and sketch the composition of that. Because um, he's a master at it. I'm pretty old school, you know, 2B pencil on Bristol board, and I, I'm pretty loose. Then I, I go to ink and do my best to crush it. When I went to college, uh, my parents wanted me to do art education, but I actually hated teaching. <laughs> so uh, I started teaching in 2011 uh, at a middle school here in Chicago, and in March I got married to my wife, Rachel. We met at our church's Christmas party. Um, I had specifically gone to introduce myself to as many young men as I could. <laughs> she came up to me and asked me my favorite ice cream flavor. <laughs> it was like as an icebreaker, I guess. And uh, he told me that it was mint chocolate chip, but the Briars kind. Because you don't actually know that it's mint chocolate chip until you like actually really get into it. <laughs> and I thought it was a great answer. And actually I do feel like it describes his personality pretty well. She knew how much of a toll teaching was taking on me. So I really encouraged him to quit his job and pursue comics. The day after I left my job as a teacher, I started working on my portfolio. You know, I was hoping it would pay off financially, but I knew it would pay off for him in an emotional way. And during this time, Rachel took a full-time job as a preschool teacher to help kind of support us. So the goal was to go to shows and share my work. He got a lot of gigs from people seeing his work online or at Comic Cons. I was introduced to John Moison. I think we met at a show. And a few months later, he asked me to do a Quake one-shot with Matthew Rosenberg. And that was my first Marvel work. After about three years, he was established enough. And I reached a point where I was at the preschool where I was really at the misery point that he was when he was teaching. <laughs> and he actually encouraged me to find a serving job. Now we're both at a spot where we love what we do. And that kind of, that kind of is a segue into the baby. Rachel and I always knew that at some point we'd want to have kids. Dan is an awesome dad. I do have a dream job. I do have a dream career. I'm very thankful. I feel very blessed but it's only in so far that I'm able to provide for my family and I'm able to, I'm able to feel fulfilled primarily by them and secondly by my career. Hey, what's up? Today we're drawing Rogan Gambit. My name is Daniel Warren Johnson. Smash that like button. Comment, subscribe. What's your favorite Rogan Gambit moment? Do you like Rogue? Do you like Gambit? Because you're gonna love this drawing. Hold on, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. Rogue, Gambit together. Don't touch me though. See you soon. Marvel quick draw.